Hello, I had a question and I want to answer it in a video about bringing in a or adding a profile to the um, database using a predefined DWG cross section. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, just for the record, we're using 2021 SP18 for the example of this, which is the, the version the customer is using. So we're going to go first to catalogs and we're going to go to define profiles and you'll see here we've got a number of options. I'll leave it up to you to explore these, but the one we're going to use is DWG. They all work in a very similar fashion. Um, so we get this dialog box and all we've got to do is link to the input file, which is currently in my downloads. Uh, and then we give it a name. Right, so I'm just going to use example. You can use whatever you want, something that makes sense to you. Um, minimum distance between points. I recommend a value of 0 0.01, um, but you'll need to you'll need to set that based on the import. Um, and then the the profile attribute type is a question mark for an irregular profile. Um, you know, if it conforms to one of these profiles, you can use that. But um, generally speaking, you're going to want this question mark um, because anything that's regular is already in here. Once you've set those parameters, you've simply got to pick the span for the object. Tecla is going to populate it, but while it's done that, it's also added it to the database as well. So that you can go into here and under others, um, you can find it there for repetition. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next time.